Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 55 of 2018 regarding accepting the government's resignation. The order stipulates accepting the resignation after issuing the order and for the Prime Minister to be in charge of the Kingdom's matters until the new cabinet formation. His Majesty also issued Royal Order 56 of 2018 stipulating the appointment of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa as well as electing new members for the cabinet. It. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 57 of 2018, amending some of the provisions of Royal Order 59 of 2014, defining the criteria of appointment of Shura Council members effective from the date of its issuance and to be published in the official Gazette. The Royal Order stipulated the addition of a new Clause 3 to Article 1 of Royal Order 59 of 2014, defining the criteria of appointment of Shura Council members and that the Shura Council members should be unaffiliated to any political society. His Majesty Khamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a letter to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in which he assigned His Royal Highness to form the government and to present to His Majesty to issue a decree for this. His Majesty the King expressed his full confidence in His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to achieve His Majesty's aspiration to continue the development march of the kingdom and the people. His Majesty noted that the kingdom is the beginning of a new period of the national development march looking forward for a better future and to achieving the best for Bahrain and its people. His Majesty hailed His Royal Highness's efforts in leading the government and achieving the kingdom's gains, as well as enhancing development pillars that are based on principles of justice, sustainability and competitiveness. He also noted that Bahrain has managed to overcome all the challenges in the past four years and achieve a number of development projects and programs, including included in the 2015 to 2018 government action plan under the leadership of his royal highness his majesty the king reiterated his trust and confidence in the capabilities of his royal highness in leading the new government and in setting the priorities and plans that guarantee the achievement of the people's aspirations in the coming period mainly the continuous boost of the democratic march preserving security and stability in addition to enhancing the cooperation between the legislative legislative and executive bodies, as included in Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. In reply, His Majesty the King received a letter from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, expressing his sincere thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's precious trust in assigning him with the formation of the new government at this important stage of the National March. His Royal Highness affirmed continuing working on implementing His Majesty's vision and achieving His Majesty's aspirations for the development and prosperity of the kingdom and its people. His Royal Highness also stressed continuing the development march and bolstering cooperation between the government and the legislative body. Based on the directives of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness noted that the consultations to form the new government are underway to select candidates for the cabinet and then will be presented to His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday a letter from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in which he presented the government's resignation. His Royal Highness affirmed that today is a new period of the national action according to the Kingdom's Constitution Article 33 that stipulates the reformation of the cabinet at the start of each legislative term. His Royal Highness expressed his honor in His Majesty the King's trust in appointing him as Prime Minister for the last four years in which his Royal Highness exerted sincere efforts in implementing His Majesty's vision and aspiration in enhancing democracy and constitutional institutions. He noted the challenges that marked the previous period that had an effect on all sides of the national action and require exerting further efforts and creating solutions to overcome them in order to preserve the national gains and the citizens' living conditions. His Royal Highness also asserted the keenness of the previous government on achieving the government 
government action plan in all sectors, in addition to working on boosting principles of justice, security and stability for all. The government was also keen on developing institutional performance according to best quality standards, maintaining pillars of cooperation between legislative and executive bodies. Based on His Majesty the King's directives, the government preserved all social and economic aspects in implementing sustainable development programs. His Majesty Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday at Safriya Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa where His Majesty discussed the next phase requirements of the National Action March. His Majesty highlighted the advancements in the National March thanks to the keenness of the people of Bahrain and their participation that serves the interests of the Kingdom. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for their efforts in developing government work and support of the visions and strategies across all sectors. He praised the people's awareness in answering the national call by participating in the elections and hailed the wide participation in both the representative and municipal councils, which proves their keenness to serve the kingdom. He added that the election participation was a historical achievement which reflects the civilized image of the people of Bahrain and their keenness to maintain the democratic gains. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the people for their patriotic stances and hailed the role of all who participated in the success of the election process. His Majesty also congratulated the winners in both councils, which reflects the people trust in them and wish them all success in assuming their national responsibility. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the government keenness in a achieving the aspirations of His Majesty the King, as well as serving the interests of the people and meeting their needs to achieve further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Chairman of the High Committee to Oversee the Integrity of the Elections, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, as well as the committee members. His Majesty hailed the efforts exerted by the committee in the first and second round of the elections, adding that 67% turnout in the parliamentary elections and 70% in the municipal elections reflects the integrity, free choice and popular participation in the Kingdom's elections. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the committee's president and members for their efforts and hard work aimed at making the electoral process a success, noting the important role of the Bahraini judiciary and national control in overseeing the integrity of the elections, and expressed thanks in the excellent organization, which reflects Bahrain's advanced level of independent judiciary. His Majesty hailed the awareness of Bahraini voters to practice their democratic rights in choosing their representatives and performing their national duty in serving the kingdom and reinforcing its democratic and civilization march. His Majesty affirmed that the kingdom has been distinguished throughout its long history by the unity and solidarity of its people. His Majesty congratulated the Bahraini youth for their remarkable success in acquiring position in the Council of Representatives. He also praised the presence of Bahraini women in the Council, which doubled in the Council of Representatives and the municipal councils due to their competence and efficiency as the active partner in developing the nation. His Majesty noted that Bahraini people will continue to apply the approach of shura and democracy. He also expressed aspirations that the next stage will witness success in performing national responsibilities and achieving the desired goals. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the support the committee has received and congratulated His Majesty on the success of the elections, which reflects the political awareness of the Bahraini people in consolidating the democratic process in light of the reform project of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the Bahraini teachers who won the Mohammed bin Zayed Award for Best Gulf Cooperation Council Teacher. The winning teachers are Amina Nabil Al Rumehi from Al Nur Secondary School, Munira Khalid Al Zayani, and Sumaya Hassan Yaqut from Arad Primary School, and Wafa Salim Rajab from Muharraq Primary School. His Majesty the King congratulated the teachers on winning the award, which was launched by His Highness the Crown Prince and Supreme. 
commander of UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. He added that this win is a victory for the whole kingdom. His Majesty hailed the continuous achievements of the kingdom at the regional and international levels in the field of education. He also praised the role of the Ministry of Education in this regard, which resulted in serving the country and building on the kingdom's comprehensive development. For his part, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Nuaimi, expressed appreciation for His Majesty the King's support to education, which resulted in many achievements. He added that the ministry will continue its effort and implement the directives of His Majesty in order to achieve further development. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday at Safriya Palace the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness presented to His Majesty a copy of the book titled The Early Royal Era, written by the Ministry of Youth and Sports, which discusses the achievements of the Bahraini people in various sports events through the blessed march in the royal era. His Highness also presented presented His Majesty with a report of the King Hamad Award for Youth Empowerment to achieve sustainable development goals in addition to the goals of the award. His Majesty the King hailed the efforts exerted in preparing the book, which is considered an important reference, documenting the achievements of distinguished elite of Bahraini personalities who have been at the forefront in the fields of art, culture, health, sports, science and academy at the Gulf, Arab and international levels. He expressed his appreciation and pride for the efforts and contributions of Bahrainis in all fields of national work. His Majesty hailed His Highness Sheikh Nasser's efforts in serving the youth and sports field and his keenness to achieve advanced positions to raise the flag of Bahrain and consolidate its position in all forms. His Majesty praised the achievements of the Bahraini youth in the parliamentary and ministerial municipal elections and the participation of young Bahrainis in the voting process in which 63% have participated. His Majesty congratulated Bahraini women for having a large percentage in the Council of Representatives where they have doubled their presence in the Council. He also praised the role of the Ministry of Youth and Sports in the service of youth and sports work and the adoption of initiatives aimed at embracing youth and channeling their energies to serve the country and and achieve its comprehensive development goals. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qurayba Palace a number of representative council members. His Royal Highness congratulated the representatives for their new appointments and the people of Bahrain for selecting them as their representatives. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's support to the representative council, noting that the regional and international situation requires maintaining the country's stability and development. He asserted that the joint priority should be the protection of citizens' dignity and living standards. His Royal Highness stated that the youth and women representatives give a positive prospect to achieve further growth and advancement for the country and its people. He reiterated his support to the representatives, asserting that the government and representative cooperation is essential and noting that citizenship has been preserved through the people of the country. The representatives expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keenness and cooperation with the Representatives Council for the interest of the country and its people. Representative Adil Abdurrahman al Usumi stated that the basis of cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities is His Royal Highness's support and directives.
The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated today the Bottom of the Barrel Technology Conference Series under the slogan The Best Solutions to Raise the Level of Petroleum Waste. More on this report with Shoghi Mohammed. Established 17 years ago, Euro Petroleum Consultants BBTC Bottom of the Barrel Technology Conference Series remain the only events focusing on technologies, project trends and equipment innovations relating to residue upgrading in refineries. It has become one of the most insightful conferences for the refining industry in the Middle East, especially as more and more focus is given to residue upgrading. This is a specialized conference for the downstream uh, sector, of course, as you know, Babco is uh, now well underway in its expansion. Uh, but the concept of uh, downstream and uh, uh, process technology is what this conference is about. As you know, Babco converts crude oil into uh, usable uh, products, whether uh, diesel, jet fuel, naphtha, etc. And with this new upgrade, they will have state-of-the-art equipment that uses uh, state-of-the-art technology and catalysts, etc., this conference focuses on, on that uh, angle of the industry. It's uh, very much a technology-focused uh, business, uh, and there's a lot of changes in terms of the new specifications. We have the new International Maritime Organization ruling by 2020 uh, to ban high sulfur fuel oil, which means that you have to convert whatever high sulfur fuel oil you have in your refineries to more usable products. And this is exactly what Babco is doing with its new refinery. It is upgrading uh, what, what's called bottom of the barrel into more usable gas oil, uh, low sulfur, very high spec and obviously with better margins. Under the slogan, the best solutions to raise the level of petroleum waste, the BBTC 2018 conference was held in the presence of the CEOs of the national oil and gas companies and a number of affiliates of Gulf oil companies and global presence of experts and engineers and those interested in the various aspects of the oil industry from different countries of the world to discuss the technological processors fuel oil remaining in the oil industry. Our beloved kingdom had the pleasure of hosting these two major events in here, Bottom of the Barrel Technology Conference and the Middle East Catalyst Conference. Uh, the, under uh, kind patronage of His Excellency, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Minister of Oil and Chairman of our Board of Director of Babco. Uh, the, really, the purpose or shall we say the objective of both of these uh, uh, activities or initiatives at this time is so critical as it goes in the heart a Babco modernization program where addressing the bottom of the barrel comes right at the top to convert all whatever is remaining of the heavy oils into high quality, high value material. It also addresses issues such as uh, conservation of energy and higher reliability and definitely increasing the throughput which we are actually doing by 40 percent. The purpose of today's conference is really to get the industry together to talk about the technologies that are available to the industry. There are so many radical changes occurring to the refining oil and chemical industry. We need to understand what are the new opportunities to get the most out of a barrel of oil. The opportunity to meet with process engineers all across the Middle East and to be able to talk about the safety of operating equipment inside refineries is critical. I've been working with this uh, organization since, I guess, 2003. And so they've always been very good at bringing process engineers from many different uh, countries together and being able to talk about solutions through instrumentation. Organized by the Euro Petroleum Consultants and Bobco, in cooperation with the National Oil and Gas Authority, the conference works to find solutions to the changing industrial landscape through technology and innovation incentives with maintaining operational efficiency. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shog Mohammed. A ceremony was held at the Bahrain National Museum marking the 47th UAE National Day. The UAE Embassy hosted the celebratory event in the presence of senior officials, members of the diplomatic corps, artists and other figures. UAE Ambassador Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan hailed his country's landmark strides, paying tribute to UAE's founder and development architect, late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. The ambassador said that the 47th National Day coincided 
coincides with the Year of Zaya tribute. He commended the strong historic relations binding Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates based on historic fraternal ties, which went down generations. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh extended deepest congratulations to the UAE leaders and its people on the 47th National Day, wishing them further progress and prosperity. Aden Football Confederation and FIFA First Deputy President Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa congratulated the UAE government and people on the 47th National Day. Capital Governor Sheikh Hisham bin Abdul Rahman Al Khalifa and former Council of Representatives Speaker Al Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Dhahrani also congratulated the UAE on its National Day, hailing the landmark strides it had achieved. The results of the second round of the parliamentary and municipal elections were announced on Saturday as follows.